हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट द एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर थ्री मेजरमेंट ऑफ इम्पिडेंस यूजिंग स्लॉटेड लाइन असेंबली सो हियर फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग दिस इज एक्चुअली द एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप सो फर्स्ट इन द क्लिस्ट्रॉन पावर सप्लाई वी आर गोइंग टू गिव द सप्लाई सो ऑन द क्लिस्ट्रॉन सोर्स इट इज गोइंग टू जनरेट द ऑसिलेशन आर वी कैन कॉल दट एज द माइक्रोवेव सिग्नल्स आर जनरेटेड एंड आइसोलेटर इट विल अलो द सिग्नल्स इन ओनली इन वन डायरेक्शन एंड वेरिएबल अटिनिएटर इन ऑर्डर टू Uh, maintain the attenuation level and the frequency meter is used to measure the diff frequencies and the slotted line carriage is used to measure the wavelength or we can call that as vswr by taking the vmax as well as the v minimum v minimum so and here we are going to connect the last one unknown load unknown load is nothing but actually the uh, detector mount okay so or the or we can call that as the crystal detector so in the uh, detector mount so once we take the readings from the detector mount so then we are going to uh, remove that and we are going to connect it to the movable shot and we are going to take the v minimum first v minimum as well as the second v minimum and we'll uh, observe the output on the cro so let's start with the conduction of the experiment we have arranged the experimental setup and we have connected the detector mount that is nothing but uh, the unknown load so and we have generated the mode and the slc in the right extreme corner so here first what we have to do is so we need to move this slotted line carriage so to get the maximum voltage so uh, here we need to measure the maximum voltage so here we can observe the maximum voltage is 872 eight seventy two eight seventy two millivolts. So next, and we need to measure the minimum voltage. So along with this minimum voltage, here we are getting the minimum voltage. So here we should take the minimum voltage that is five twenty. Uh, 512 millivolts, and we need to measure the distance. So here, uh, in order to measure the distance, there will be a vernier scale on the slotted line carriage, and here the one more scale. So the line zero coincide with the vernier scale. We have to take that reading. So in this case, the zero is coincide with the uh, uh, value of 9.8, nearly 9.8. Okay. So x1 value is 9.8. so again we need to take the okay next uh, we are replacing the detector with the movable shot so here we need to consider the v minimum as well as the x2 as well as x3 okay x1 x2 is actually the distances v minimum one distance v minimum two distance so first we need to uh, move the slotted line carriage so this is actually the v minimum v minimum 1 so v minimum 1 is actually uh, 100 millivolts and we need to find out the distance here the distance is exactly 9 okay 9 cm and next we need to take the second v minimum so this is the second v minimum so second v minimum is the uh, peak to peak voltage is 140 millivolt and the distance is nearly 11 11.1 okay that is x2 as well as x3 so once we tabulate the uh, readings uh, we need to calc uh, we, once we tabulate the readings we need to calculate so here we have taken the v minimum as well as v maximum and that is the for v maximum whatever the distance we have taken that is x1 that is with respect to the mesh termination or we can call that as the unknown load and when we once we re, uh, once we replace the unknown load with the movable shot we we need to take the first v minimum the voltage as well as the distance that is x2 that is uh, 8.9 cm and the v minimum is equal to 56 millivolts and x3 is equal to 11.4 cm okay so and in order to calculate d so that is actually the okay the d is actually the distance between the first minima as well as the second minima that is equal to x3 minus x2 so according to this readings d is equal to 11.4 minus 8.9 will get d is equal to 2.4 cm and in order to find out the lambda g that is the wavelength of the wave guide that is equal to 2d and lambda g is equal to 2 into uh, 
टू पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर देन लैमडा जी विल गेट फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आउट द डेल्टा एल दट इज इक्वल टू एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन दट इज इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट नाइन सेंटीमीटर माइनस नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर विल गेट पॉइंट सेवन सेंटीमीटर इवन दो इफ यू गेट माइनस इफ यू टेक द मैग्निट्यूड देन विल गेट दट इज एक्चुअली द पॉजिटिव वैल्यू पॉइंट सेवन सेंटीमीटर एंड लैमडा सी इज इक्वल टू टू ए ये इज नथिंग बट द विथ ऑफ दिस विथ ऑफ दिस वेव गाइड दट इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट थ्री सेंटीमीटर ओके सो देन विल सब्सिट्यूट दट वैल्यू लैमडा सी इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू टू पॉइंट थ्री सेंटीमीटर देन विल गेट लैमडा सी इज फोर पॉइंट सिक्स सेंटीमीटर एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट दट लैमडा लैमडा ए लैमडा नॉट दट इज इक्वल टू लैमडा जी इंटू लैमडा सी डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ लैमडा जी स्क्वायर प्लस लैमडा सी स्क्वायर so once we find out that lambda not will be getting that as 0.033 and in order to find out the impedance this is actually the formula z not is equal to 377 divided by square root of 1 minus lambda lambda a divided by lambda c whole square okay so then we'll substitute this value and we'll get the z not is equal to 541.145 okay and in order to find out uh, the uh, uh, impedance on the smith chart so we need to find out the vswr so vswr is equal to v max by v minimum that is nothing but 2.24 divided by 1.01 will get 2.01 vswr is 2.01 okay and lambda l by lambda g is equal to 0.7 cm divided by 4 cm that is equal to 0.14 Okay. In order to find out the impedance, so we are going to make use of the Smith chart. So this is actually the Smith chart. I think uh, you people, you people studied the Smith chart. So first uh, we need to take the VSWR. VSWR value is two point zero one, or we can take nearly two. So two is actually the radius of the VSWR circle. So here we need to take uh, two as the radius, and we should uh, draw the circle. So this is actually the VSWR circle, and here this end will consider that as the open circuit. Uh, uh, that is uh, 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 that is equal to. So this end is actually represents the open circuit, and here we'll consider actually the short circuit. So and the whatever the value will get that as lambda l by lambda g is equal to point one four from the short circuit end towards the uh, load we should take point point one four so here you you can observe so this is the second uh, line so from zero 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 point zero one zero point zero two zero three zero four zero five zero six zero seven zero eight zero nine zero point one one zero Point one 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 two one three one four. So this is actually the point with respect to the lambda L by delta L by lambda G. Okay. So once we get this point, so we need to join from O to the lambda L by uh, delta L by lambda G point. So this is actually the intersection point. So in this intersection point, we are going to find out the impedance. So in order to find out this impedance, we should take the uh, VSWR circle where exactly it will cut impedance uh, means R circle as well as the J circle. We need to see. Okay, so here this is exactly uh, the value of. So from this point, we are going to find out the impedance. So R circle cuts the value of point nine. And the J circle is actually 0.65. So and here we are taking at the downwards, so we should put it as a minus. So the impedance will be considered that as Z not is equal to 0.9 minus J 0.65. So this is the impedance value we are going to get. So whatever the value we are taking from the Smith chart, that is actually the normalized impedance. So this is the impedance of the load, or we can call that as the load impedance. So once we get the normalized load impedance, that has to be multiplied with the Z naught. Okay. So 0.9 minus J 0.64 or 65 into Z naught. So Z naught is actually we have calculated that as 541.145. So when we multiply that, so we'll get the load impedance as 487 minus j 355
okay 355 ohms this is actually the load impedance we are going to uh, find out from this experiment thank you